If you've ever applied for a job, a loan or a mortgage from a bank or been through any process that requires verification of your ID and credentials, then you know just how tedious and drawn out this process can be. On top of this, more often than not, unnecessary personal information ends up being shared, for example, when submitting a full bank statement just to prove your address. Enter Digital Decentralized Identity or Self-Sovereign Identity, SSI, which uses blockchain technology to give individuals control over their own identity data and how that data is shared and accessed. In this video, we'll be discussing Checked and the Check Token, a cryptocurrency project looking to build a network around decentralized and self-sovereign identity. The move towards decentralized identity is based on the belief that our current model of data sharing is fundamentally flawed. Signing up with a website or application often requires a new username and password to be created. This is all well and good until you've signed up to a hundred different websites, all with different usernames and passwords. Apart from the inconvenience for us as users to keep track of all of our logins, it also raises questions regarding security as we're forced to rely on these organizations to protect our data. Decentralized identity allows us to prove our identity and credentials to any verifier such as websites, employers and banks, but it also allows us to choose how much information we're willing to share, which in some cases could even be just a simple yes to the question, are you who you say you are? But what would incentivize issuers of ID certificates or those looking to verify your ID to adopt this new technology and decentralized approach that primarily benefits us as users? To solve this, the Czech team is building a public permissionless blockchain on Cosmos, an interoperable network, enabling them to partner up with companies in the decentralized identity space to implement payment mechanisms that reward both the user and the verifier involved in the identification process, as well as issuers of identity or credential documents. Checked was founded in 2021 and was initially called Verim before being rebranded by the team. Drawing on their existing knowledge and experience in the digital identity space, Checked was co-founded by CEO Fraser Edwards and CTO Anka Banaji. Fraser Edwards has background experience in self-sovereign identity, having worked with the World Economic Forum and the Dutch and Canadian governments on the known traveller digital identity project. He also has experience with payment processes on the blockchain, having worked on the Jasper Ubin project with the Singaporean and Canadian central banks to implement cross-blockchain payments. CTO Anka Benaji also has an extensive background having worked with Accenture UK as the lead architect for blockchain and digital identity and on multiple projects with R3 Corda and Hyperledger Fabric, two big names in the blockchain space. Checked is a proof-of-stake network rewarding users who stake or lock up tokens to operate nodes that validate transactions on the blockchain. Users also have the option to delegate or essentially lend their tokens to node operators who validate transactions, which entitles them to a share in the rewards. These two passive income mechanisms encourage the holding of check tokens, which can reduce the supply of tokens in circulation in the long term and have a positive effect on price action. Those who stake or delegate are also given governance power to vote on decisions related to the future of the project, once again putting the power back in our hands as users and data holders. Check had an initial total supply of 1 billion tokens, but the token is inflationary and the supply will increase at a rate of 1 to 4% per year. This decision was made by the team to ensure that node operators and stakers rewards would be independent of network activity. So rewards are given even if no transactions are happening on chain to incentivize users to lock up and earn more tokens even during this early phase of the project. However, the inflationary aspect cannot be ignored and could potentially have a negative impact on price action if demand doesn't match the increasing supply. Another factor to be aware of is the vesting schedule. Vesting periods apply to check tokens owned by the check team and early shareholders and advisors to the project. Tokens that have been locked up for allocated periods of time, only to be released according to the predetermined schedule. 
This is not uncommon in cryptocurrency projects and is generally a measure taken to protect investors. However, it's important to be aware of vesting schedules and the potential effects they can have on the circulating supply and the token price. According to Checked's vesting schedule, by year two, over 450 million tokens will have been unlocked. This amounts to almost half of the initial token supply, with the majority of these belonging to shareholders and 80 million belonging to advisors to the project. If these unlocked tokens are sold by early shareholders, they enter the circulating supply, potentially lowering the check token price if there isn't enough demand to counteract this sell-off. Checked estimates the self-sovereign identity market to be worth over $550 billion and the implications for future data access and control are significant. So it's not surprising that there are a large number of projects in the space. One of the bigger and more established cryptocurrency projects involved in decentralized identity is Ontology or ONT. Outside of crypto tokens, the list of companies working on digital identity solutions is endless and includes Google, Microsoft and IBM, just to name a few. However, if Checked succeeds in becoming the main payment mechanism in decentralized identity, then none of these companies will be direct competitors. In fact, far from it. These would all be potential clients that could utilize Checked's payment and reward system. The team behind the Checked project have the knowledge and experience to execute on their vision. The unique payment and reward system and interoperability of the project means that they currently have no direct competition and are able to work with other projects in the digital identity space. The tokenomics behind the checked project would raise some questions for anyone looking to invest at this stage. Factors such as the inflationary model and the vesting schedule could have a negative impact on price action during these early stages of the project, especially while demand and transactions on the blockchain are still low. However, that's not to say that this would affect price action over the long term. And if the Czech team achieve their goals, then the demand for the token will eventually offset these factors. The implications and utility for digital identity solutions are vast and range from real-life applications to Web 3.0 and the metaverse. There's a large market share to be had, so a lot of companies will be looking to dominate the space. In particular, mega corporations which have a vested interest in ensuring that they can retain control of our data. Corporations that will likely oppose decentralized and self-sovereign identity. So the question is, will Checked and the other projects working on decentralized identity solutions be able to overcome these obstacles and give us back our privacy and control of our data? If you found this video useful, then be sure to drop a like and feel free to comment on anything that's been said. If you want to learn more about the fundamentals behind other crypto projects, then hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for your next dose of Crypto Beans.